spokesperson for the All Progressive Congress political party. Joe Igbokwe earlier took to his official Facebook page to narrate what President Buhari said when he received the report of the National Security Summit held on the 26th of May 2021 by the House of Representatives. According to Joe Igbokwe, President Buhari said that he has to serve the Nigerian citizens to the best of his ability after recalling the support he got during 2015 and 2019 presidential elections. Still from Igbokwe's post, Buhari said that the number of people that turned out to see him, even with some waiting under the sun for hours, was more than anyone could have wished for or buy. I wonder why Nigeria accepts me. Even though I'm not rich, Buhari, President Buhari says he wonders why Nigeria accepted and voted for him despite not being rich. Buhari made the comment on Tuesday when he received the reports of the National Security Summit held on May 26 by the House of Representatives. The report was submitted by a team of lawmakers led by Femi Bajabi Amila, Speaker of the Lower Chamber. Recalling the support he got during his presidential campaign, Buhari said he knew he needed to serve Nigerians to the best of his ability. The number of people that turned out to see me, some waiting for 10 hours in the sun, was more than anyone could buy or force. They just wanted to see who this Buhari was. People wonder why Nigerians accept me despite not being rich. I wonder too, Buhari said. For those who did not know, President Buhari was voted in twice by the people and each person that voted for him with, uh, with their reasons. Well, you know, when I got to know how popular Buhari is, I was just wondering that who are the caliber, who are the people who have been voting for? For this man, you know, when you talk about uh, the poverty, we talk about uh, illiteracy, you talk about whatever vices you can think of in this country, 80% is coming from the north. And when you go and look at the calibers of people, because and that is where he gets most of his vote from, because three times you got the votes, you know, in millions, but he couldn't win. He couldn't just win. It was during the lockdown I got to know the set of people that voted for this man. I say, no wonder. Ah, ah. Atoka, Atoka. When you say you have fans, who are who, who are the calibers? Who are the calibers of the people that have been, you know, who are your fans? Because it takes some people like you to to see what is in you. Because I begin to wonder, and I say, oh, all these amajiris, uh -huh, no wonder, uh -huh. <laughs> You can't have that kind of society, and you know expect them those who that who cannot even know their left from their right and they are and you are bragging the few ones that you think that uh, whether they are educated because those ones are greedy they are psychophants they will tell him what he wants to hear and at the end of the day majority of them in the recess if not for all this uh, mago mago in the recess those ones cannot even uh, they they if they have company they know where the kind of position they will give Buhari in their respective company it is only in that place that uh, they can, you can, you can get such a vote and such a whatever. And at the end of the day, how have the lives of those people be transformed? Have their life transformed for the better? Your guess is as good as mine. So since he came on board now, has their life changed for the better? Go on, go on, just, just go and look there. The poverty is something else. These are, these are the same people who are joining Boko Haram, joining bandits. The same people who is always bragging, the set of amajiris now the numbers is just increasing on a daily basis. Tell me what they have gained, what he has done for them. Uh, I don't understand. I don't understand. He's now bragging that uh, you are not rich. What has that got to do? Is it by richness that they vote for people? So what are your legacy? What are the legacy you are going to leave behind now? Because you are talking about a uh, uh, despite you not being rich, who are the Nigerians that voted for you? Where someone says, I voted for you, but I'm regretting it. Thanks for saying the truth. The ineffectiveness of the Jonathan government brought you to power, but I don't agree you won the second term. Now, Einek finished the job. Nigeria still love you, but wake up and made them, make them proud of their 
votes. <laughs> Where are the Nigerians? <laughs> it is the Northerners that are loving him. All those uh, Amma juries that are that love him. We thought your performance should be the one we knew you for. Those kabas have hijacked everything good from you, Baba. Very gullible Nigerians. I wonder why you fail to live to your promises that made them to vote for you in the first place. Yes. How many years now? Only directive to the to do massive disbursements to poor Nigeria. You could not always. No one talk a big. Uh, we see for ground. Sin is believing. Baba, the greatest mistake Nigerians made. God really wants to punish us because if our sins, because of our sins, if not, you people couldn't have voted. Uh, people couldn't have voted for you in the first place. He, he never knows, say, many don't regret them. Nobody accepted you and nobody voted for you. Uh, it was the biggest mistake of their lives, those who voted for you. What they thought is not what they got. Nigerians voted you in the uh, because you rewarded them with killing. The Southwest joined the North to vote because they trusted Bola Ahmed Tinubu and hate the fact that a minority from South South should continue to rule. See where the hate of a Southern minority by the Southwest has led Nigeria into the Gulag. Buhari, I and million others never voted for you and your abysmal failure as a president vindicate us that is for the records love you hmm. perish the thoughts not with the pains and anguish your misrule have foisted on innocent nigerians what is the level of our economy now what is the level of our economy the man is bragging you see people who are who they say they uh, they always go to welcome him like he went to kaduna bikano today see the see the see the crowd go and check them Go and check them. Those ones they cannot even they can they, they live under two dollars. Is it up to the one dollar a day? And those are the people we will see come as suffering and smiling. You can't use the Nigeria environment to judge, especially from that side, to judge that people really love you because they don't even know what they are doing. They don't know what they are doing. And that is it. They do not know what they are doing. And nobody voted for you. Though you haven't performed to our expectation yet, we are seeing the opposite. Hunger everywhere, unemployment everywhere, security everywhere, inflation everywhere, Nara devaluation every day, and so on. Oga, Mr. President, check it yourself. He doesn't know those things. He doesn't know all those things. But that you see crazy, eh? that's it. You say, ah, but these people still love me now. Those who are saying otherwise, that means there's something wrong somewhere.